The actor who is sort of the icon for a lot of people in, uh, in our generation is Jack Nicholson. You know, young actors, uh, and just pretty much anyone in the culture idolizes Jack Nicholson, and I know that was true for you. And there's a story that when you did The Crossing Guard, you directed your mom in a scene with Jack Nicholson. Is that right? Yeah. What would that, I mean, I would be, first of all, that's your idol with your mom and you're directing. That yeah. would be a strange situation, I would imagine. I was giddy that day because <laughs> it, it just, it felt like I was playing a practical joke on both of them. <laughs> uh, and, and in the scene, Jack has, she's complaining to him, he plays the jeweler, and in the scene, she's showing him that the ring it, that is, that, that won't go on her finger, um, uh, is not a size seven, her, mm -hmm. her ring size. So she's complaining, complaining, and he finally gets fed up. And he grabs her hand and he puts her finger in his mouth to wet, to slick it. Yeah. And then shoves the ring on and he says, see, a perfect seven. Yeah. So my mother, who was always kind of in, uh, invested in cleanliness. Yeah. <laughs> she, um, she was in her trailer getting yeah. ready for the scene with like this Pfizer Hex or Pfizer Dirt, like scrubbing her hands. Right, right. And so she came to set and very proudly announced to Jack, Jack, I want you to know that I've thoroughly scrubbed my hands. They're absolutely clean. He says, that's good, Ma. You're on your own with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs>